We're going to be finishing the filler arc today, finishing G8 with episodes 203 to 206. We're doing four episodes in this video just to round it out. I planned ahead this time with how many episodes I was going to do for each video so that I could like properly end it um, on, you know, like so I could do a, I, I could make sure that I could fit enough episodes in and also end it by the end of a video so that I don't have like one or two episodes of the next arc within one of these videos because it's better to have them like sort of enclosed, you know? Um, so yeah, we're finishing the G8 arc today. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Um, it's been a little while since I watched uh, the last episode because I was kind of like going through like i was recording one piece videos in quick succession for a while there and recording them very close together um but i took i i took my normal like week maybe even a week and a bit at this point like break which is normally what i'm supposed to do but i haven't been doing lately so um it's it was a bit longer of a gap of me since watching the last episode of one piece which is uh something i'm not used to lately so uh today we're jumping back into One Piece. I, I basically remember what they were doing. They were going towards that gate, right? And then uh, and then they realized that the treasure was gone and that's how the episode ended, right? So are they going back for the treasure? I, I, I don't know if we ever figured out, I don't think we ever figured out like what their intentions are now. Are they gonna keep going for the gate or are they gonna turn back? Um, but regardless, I'm excited to jump into this, do these four episodes. Um, if you can support these videos, that would be amazing. I uh, I know that you guys do generally support the videos, um, but it's still good to remind you just because uh, I would like to be able to continue doing these One Piece videos and, um, and I can only keep doing them if, you know, people are interested in them. So uh, please make sure to support the videos if you can, liking them, commenting on them, subscribing to them. And um, and I mean, this is an extra step, but if you really want to support me, if there are other people that are looking for One Piece reactions, you can let them know that uh, that I exist, that I'm around. Because uh, if you, you know, if you do that, then other people come in and I can keep doing the videos, etc. So um, if there are other people that are looking for One Piece reactions, make sure to let them know about mine. But anyway, uh, I also have my Patreon account, which has the full-length reactions if you want to sync it up with your own footage. Um, on my Patreon account right now, we should be, like, coming toward the end of the next... I think there's a small arc after this filler arc. Um, I, I think by at this point, we'd be coming to the end of that arc on my Patreon account, so you can go check that out as well. Anyway, let's jump into this. This is episode 203 of One Piece. Here we go. Okay, potential recap. Here we go. Let's see if I can do my recap Rubik's. If you're new to the channel, I do a Rubik's Cube when the recap is on, and I try to beat the recap. Wait a second. Oh god, I think I fucked this up. I did, I did. Oh, I I did so poorly. Look at that. Look how badly I did. This is the first side. Like it was it wasn't much of a recap, but I shouldn't have done that poorly. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that would be the worst thing. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess that's the only thing their fortress is good at. <laughs> is keeping pirates out. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We need my treasure. Yep. Here we go. They could have got away. <laughs> so do I. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. That's true. You're gonna get him. Yeah. This is great, because normally Nami's like, no, we need to get out of here. But money's involved now. The Marines are gonna be like, what the fuck are they doing? Oh my gosh. What if you sound your bells? If, if you sound your bells, they'll avoid you. Oh, it's gonna be a tight turn. Oh my god, nice! Uh-oh, there's more! 
I do think you should try to find some wind chimes or things like it that you can start banging on because then they'll turn to avoid you as well. She sure is. <laughs> oh, they're getting awfully close. Okay, that's good. And they, the Navy might think you've escaped already. What they're planning to. Okay, yeah, they might think you've escaped. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's actually a good escape plan. You might not have gotten out if you didn't turn around. Oh my god, they're gonna think they're a ghost ship again, probably. <laughs> or that they went back into the sky. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay, no, this is all part of his plan. He knows they're coming back for the gold, right? Yeah, oh my god, he's smart. He's a smart man! Oh, they're in big trouble. Oh. Oh, wait, is it good? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> it's not as good as Sanji's. They've tasted the best. Now they're stuck with the rest. Come on, Jessica. Oh, yes. Okay. Cool. That's true. Good job. <laughs> they didn't take all the food, did they? Yeah. <laughs> Is that really going to convince all of them? Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess they just assumed Nami would keep all of it. <laughs> Which might be true. Eighty <laughs> percent. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's just it's kind of strange seeing clips from these old episodes. I see that the animation has improved since then, you know. Or at least the um. The, at least the picture quality. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that moment. That's a great moment, man. Oh yeah, and her jumping to the ship, man. It's been a while since I've seen the original, because I watched the live action version. There were some nice moments in the original. I just realized, are we, we're kind of watching a recap right now. Maybe I should be doing a recap Rubik's. <laughs> Ba ba da, ba ba da, ba 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 ba. Oh my God, the Sky Islands just happened. <laughs> I don't think we need a recap of that. Oh, but I do love that moment. And then, yep, they're teasing this again. Someone fixed the ship. Well, during the recap, I finished the recap Rubik's. There we go. Oh yeah, and remember when we landed in that navy base? Like, why are they showing this bit? <laughs> okay. Oh good! We got some food! Wow, that looks great! <laughs> We're getting the treasure back! Oh! Oh, a shipwright! Are they... Oh my gosh, are they teasing a new... Crew member? I don't know who the next crew member is joining, and I'm excited. You do need a musician. <laughs> He's been wanting a musician since the start. What about Robin? She might know where it is. She's got maps out the wazoo, right? 
There we go. <laughs> Need some people to guard it. Okay. Alright, what's the plan? Okay, what do you do? You add something? You change it? Oh, shit! What the fuck? They made it look like a marine ship? That's cool! That's a good idea. Okay! Decent episode! Um, they were kind of stolen for time a little bit in this one. Uh, especially when they, you know, went over a big recap of a bunch of stuff that happened with the ship. I mean, like... Okay. So there's, like, different kinds of recap in, in shows. Um... And there's ones that I like more than others. I think this type of recap is one of the better versions of recap, which is like recap under the guise of like building up to a major change and reminiscing about it like as a build up, you know, like getting you reattached emotionally to whatever. I think, you know, that sort of recap doesn't bother me as much. So. My hero, My Hero Academia, um, tends to do this for a lot of its recaps, where, like, it'll they'll do a lot of recap, but they'll be doing it, like, trying to set up an emotional moment. And it's like, they'll have a lot of recap sometimes, like, in... Not... I, I wouldn't say MHA is too bad with recap, but there's occasional times in the series where there's, um, where they will have, like, quite a big build-up and some recap and stuff. Um... But it will, like, I think they generally do it pretty well, where I think it sets up for an emotional moment nicely. Um, and so this one, this, like, I, I'm gonna forgive them, uh, a bit for this one, because I think the way they were setting up this, um, this did, like, feel like it was leading to an emotional moment. I mean, I still did the recap Rubik's while doing it because I didn't just want to sit there and watch <laughs> watch all those scenes again because I know those moments I know them quite well um and I didn't need to just watch them all again but um but what they're building up to here is that the going merry is very important and they need to take care of it and what's become very very clear and now I see what they're kind of doing with this arc is they're the repairs that they're doing kind of aren't enough so oh my gosh so the mystery person in the fog is that gonna be whoever the new crew member is i didn't even think about that but that's possible right i thought it was gonna be someone like fucking some random smuck schmuck who we've come across in the past or whatever and then it's like oh my god it was pell or someone you know like it's just someone from a previous arc but if it's like this is the new character and this is who's going to end up joining our ship and they're they're setting them up in advance that's pretty cool now i know look with one piece crew members i know a decent amount of them because of several reasons one because of just one piece is so famous like that people talk about the characters a lot i've seen them a lot i've seen cosplays i've seen art i've seen toys figures models you know like i've seen lots of stuff related to one piece so a lot of the crew members also i've watched all the ops on you know before i started watching this series remember i did a a video where i watched all the ops of one piece um or a couple videos where i watched all the ops of one piece and um and so in that time you know i i've seen like all the One Piece characters, or all the One Piece crew members, rather, um, at least at least most of them. But I'm pretty sure I've seen all of them at least once or twice, you know. Um, but like, I don't I don't remember them incredibly well. I remember some, and some of them I know their names. Some I don't. Some I know a tiny bit about their character. Others I know nothing, you know. So um, I know. Like, I know a character that's in more recent episodes. Like, I think that's in the latest arcs. Um, I know a character from that. Um, and then I know, like, I know Brooke or Brooks. I never remember if there's an S on the end of that name. And I'll find out when I get up to, to him in the, in the show. But I know his design and his name, mostly. 
Um, and I can assume what his role on the ship will be. Now, shipwright, whoever's going to be their shipwright, I actually don't know who's going to do that. I've got kind of an image in my head of one particular character, but I don't know anything about the character. I don't know his name. I don't know, like, I, I, I don't know much about him. So, but I just kind of didn't even think about the fact that we might be getting a new crew member soon, which really excites me if that's true, because I want... Like, that's something that's so fun about One Piece is that they're picking up more and more crew members as the series goes on. And I think it's like, it's been done really well so far. So I'm super keen if this upcoming arc is us getting a new crew member. Um, but uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, so I'm excited for that. I like that they've dressed some stuff on top of the marine ship. And I like all the stuff that Jonathan's doing. Like, I like that Jonathan has a plan and shit, you know, it's, it's all very clever. It's all very nicely done. So anyway, um, that was episode 203. Let's move on to One Piece episode 204. Okay, no recap Rubik's for this episode. They did not recap last episode. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so leave some people to take care of it. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> nah, me! Oh, yeah, what about the waiver? Okay, Luffy, Nami? Oh. Okay, Nami's not part of it. Nami's staying behind. Oh, yeah, Nami needs to go get the waiver. <laughs> And then Chopper stays with the ship. <laughs> He's happy about that. That would actually be great, being on a solo mission with Nami. I understand, Sanji. <laughs> okay, it's quite far away. Shit. Okay, you take a small boat. Pretty good plan, Usopp. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. I don't like carrots. And I don't really like tomatoes either. <laughs> you want some of my food? <laughs> <laughs> Clever way to pawn off his food. Man, I wish Crunchyroll would fix these subtitles. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> Man, and he's got a grudge against you now because you guys imprisoned him. Peace addict. <laughs> yeah, they want their gold. Of course, makes sense. They had a lot of gold. Uh oh. <laughs> he wants to kill them. Yeah, no, court martial. Damn. Good job, man. Stand it up for your. Stand it up for your uh, underlings. <laughs> I'm kind of keen. That's nice. Okay, I'm glad we have a a dude to properly root against, you know, because. Jonathan's cool, but this dude's a douche. I want to see him get taken down. Aw, Chopper. <laughs> of course. This <laughs> is like stealth and divinity, original sin too. You just turn into a barrel. <laughs> hey, he loves sleeping in barrels, man. It's comfortable. What? 
Oh my god. Oh no. He's taking advantage of him. I guess so. I guess I am arguing with you. Oh god. This guy really does suck. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Hell yeah. It's cool we still got this invention. Nice. Good shot. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Okay, they're good. Watch <laughs> them so far, so good. Stealth mission's been going well. But they're gonna be waiting at the vault, so. Here we go. They gotta be surrounded. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna slaughter you. Oh, you're gonna get kicked in the face, man. Careful. Oh, good kick. You got kicked in the face. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, maybe you get more gold in here. And it's a vault. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, how about Usopp, you... Oh, you start to crack it, I was gonna say, and Robin put a billion ears against it so she can hear the clicks. Great! Great, we're fucked. <laughs> we are screwed now. Nice! Good job, Usopp. He's taking cover. <laughs> oh my gosh. Against most other pirates. Shooting like that, the Marines would have won. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh my god. It is. It is an army specialty. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Good stuff. Oh my god, they tried to... Ah, oh, that's cool! Finally, characters are doing that! I feel like that's a pretty obvious counter to Luffy that no one ever does. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> she made a chandelier out of her hands and that gear. Uh oh. <laughs> Nika Robin's the type of character that I I feel like she could take this entire room. You know? Okay, what's inside? Oh shit! That's how it opens? It just falls open? <laughs> okay, it wasn't in the vault. Oh no. Oh no, where's the gold? Shit. Okay. Alright. This is this is well paced now, I think, because we got only got two episodes left of the arc. And I feel like we got easily two episodes worth of content within uh, within this. So I'm looking forward to these next two episodes. Um, but this was a good one. I liked it. I like the way everyone was working together here. That was fun, you know, seeing the crew work together properly, seeing Usopp come up with the plan um, and a bunch of the um, crew members getting their own like little expertise, getting their own little skills. Nami's able to like sort of plan for her group a little bit and by her group I mean her and Sanji while Sanji can be the muscle where he's like able to kick down that guy who who was threatening them or whatever um 
And then on the other squad, you know, we got, you know, Usopp's doing a lot of the planning and the cracking of the safes and all that sort of stuff. While Nico, Robin, Zoro and Luffy can all fight off hundreds of guys, which is great and makes a lot of sense. I've always felt like Nico Robin's power has such high potential to it because we haven't seen, I mean, obviously they just haven't gone into what her limits are. I feel like she has limits for sure. And she probably knows her own limits and just doesn't talk about them. So I think I can assume if she doesn't do something, she probably can't do it. Um, but I always feel like when there's in, in a room like that, you know, we've seen her before, like make thousands of versions of her hands and like snap people's necks or choke them out or whatever. Um, and so whenever there's like a bunch of people like that, I always just feel like she can just do it to basically the whole room or huge groups at a time pretty effortlessly. But she kind of does everything effortlessly where I feel like she's just not showing her exhaustion. So there are probably times when she just like she does that move once and then she is actually trying to give herself a recharge period or there's some other limit to her power. I don't know. But um. But I just like, I feel like I can trust when she's there that she's gonna be able to take out lots of guys. Um, so there's something that I've always, always thought with uh, Luffy is that he stretches his arm so much, but what he's doing is he's creating so much surface area to cut. And it this, especially I was thinking about it a lot in the live action because there were times when like he would throw a punch in the live action. The very first, I mean, the like main time that I thought about it was when he was fighting Axan Morgan and he throws a punch at Axan Morgan. Axan Morgan grabs his arm and like is holding his arm. And he, I think he ends up like pulling him and like throwing him against the wall or something. And the same thing happens in episode eight, I think, um, seven or eight, somewhere around there. Um, when Arlong comes to the Baratier and uh, Arlong catches both of his arms as well, and um, and he just uses it to drag Luffy in d d uh, close by. But like, really, and I mean, th you know, it's not that big a deal that enemies don't exploit this. But like, for Axehan Morgan, I think the obvious thing is you catch that arm, you have your literal axe hand <laughs> chop his arm. Like he can't really go anywhere if you're holding him. And so he either has to come close to you, but he probably won't be able to do that before you do this, you know? So like that feels like a great way to just be like, oh no, fuck you, I'm cutting your arm off, you know? Um, and then the, uh, and with Arlong, you know, easy. You're holding both things. Like you can bite at them. I don't know. You can use his nose as a sword to saw off his arm. Like there's just several things I feel like you could do with that. But hey, it doesn't happen, it's fine. But I, but I liked in this episode that they were actually trying to cut his arm and now, and Zoro said like, don't extend your arms too much because they'll cut them. And so like, they actually took it into account this scene, which is nice. Um, I like Jonathan standing up for his, his crew, you know, his, his underlings, um, in saying, and like the, the commander is like, tell me who, like, bring me to those guys that put me in jail. And Jonathan's like, hey, they were following my orders. So... If you want to blame someone, blame me. I like that. I really appreciate that he, like, he he takes responsibility for the things that he did, you know? And he takes responsibility for his own men, doesn't just throw them to the to the fishes when uh, when things get inconvenient. So it's showing a lot how Jonathan's a great guy, <laughs> you know? He's a cool character. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. He's caught us in traps several times now. I like it. But, uh, but yeah, anyway... That's uh, episode 204, so let's now move on to the next episode, episode 205. Okay, is this a recap? No? I don't think so. I can't do the recap cube. That's great, it'll be useful. Oh, he would love to hold on tight. <laughs> Act cool, Sanji. Don't make her regret it. Oh my god. Onto her hips. <laughs> you're wasting your chance, man. See, look, you now you're just being dragged along. You could have just been holding on to her hips nicely. It would have been a cute moment and you fucked it up, bro. How can the man with the most riz known to man have the least riz known to man? Yeah, he's smart. 
Okay. Where would they be hiding it then? Okay, here we go. What's that? Is that a mech? What's happening? Oh, it's this dude. Condoriano? <laughs> Condoriano? <laughs> you made up that name. Yep. <laughs> He's trying to keep the lie going. <laughs> this guy's a douchebag, man. <laughs> See, everyone in this space hates this guy as well. So he's a good proper villain. Oh my god! Sea Eagle Talon. Oh! Hey! You fucking moron! <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! That's awesome! That's awesome! I love that, Nico! Ah, oh, that's so good! I love that use of her power, just using their own weapons. So good, man! <laughs> Hell yeah! This arc is so much fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you got this chopper. No. Oh my god, look how close their faces were. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love Nami being proficient with this waiver. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Getting some help. <laughs> That's true. He didn't put himself on the line for you guys. He just turned around. I'm surprised they're not offering for Macau to come with them and be the shipwright. Maybe the characters know that this is a filler arc and that he won't come. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yes. For sure. Hmm. Somewhere you can see it. I don't know what... Can you give us an example? <laughs> oh, the waiver? Yeah, baby! Hmm? Yeah, somewhere inside. I can't think of anywhere, though. Where? Where could it be? Oh, in Jonathan's office? Uh-huh. In his office, right? What? That's fucking cool, Nami! That move she just did? That's so great! She, like, puts together her... Uh... Climber, whatever. Here we fucking go! This is hype. I can't wait for them to get to the office. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh my god. Woo! I don't know if I'd fully trust Luffy's direction. He's not as bad as Zoro. Damn! Now you remembered. That's good. Oh, this is so hype. <laughs> 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 oh, 
してるんでしょせめて見せるぐらいしてくれて。<laughs> yeah, give us a fighting chance. Me no my kayo. Oh, that is their gold. Damn, they're letting us verify it? <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna go. Oh no, they got the nets again. Oh shit. Can Nami do it? If they have guns, you have a chance. Oh yay! <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Okay, you're making the room. <laughs> okay. Hell yes. Holy shit, bro. Get him out of the net. That's fucking awesome. They gave Nami a moment with her weapon. I'm so happy. Because her weapon's so cool and it's so perfect for her and she's perfect and I'm happy. <laughs> That's our ship. He has a plan. You're so smug about this, dude. Dude, you blew up your own soldiers. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. He picked it out. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just destroy the outside of it. <laughs> Such smug shits. Oh my god, the back half of it. Nice, very nice. Good episode. We got one left after this, so um, I really love that they gave Nami a moment to use her weapon. We haven't seen her fight with her weapons that much, and... I'm very glad that we did because I love her fighting with her weapon, man. It's so cool. It's so great because it's like Nami's not a huge <laughs> fighter and I and as I've said before, I don't need her to be. I don't necessarily want her to be like I don't I don't need her character arc to be she's going to become uh, one like a fighter as good as anyone else on the crew. Like that I don't need that, you know? A character like Usopp, I guess it would be cool if he became just as proficient as some of the other fighters on their crew, but I don't think that's necessarily necessary either. But um, but I think like with Nami, I'm happy with her strength being navigation, um, and you know, I mean, she can use the waiver and stuff, so like any sort of like driving things, um, and just being level-headed for the most part and keeping their goals uh toward <laughs> wealth and piracy as well i think does help because that also helps them financially like she was kind of right in one of the previous episodes where she was like hey if we get the gold back you know we split it between us we can get all this new shit we want we can upgrade the going merry like she's right you know that there's there's a lot that they can do with that. So it's like, yeah, they were being greedy coming back here. They could have got out with their lives. Instead, they're going back in to make sure that they got all their gold. But it's going to now, that's going to pay dividends for them. That's going to be like amazing for them in the future. So it's good that she did that. Um, but, uh, but, you know, even with all of that, I just, I think it's really fun to have her have some moments of uh, being able to fight uh and be very cool you know like i want her to be better than your your average person at fighting which means probably slightly below average in the grand line maybe or maybe average in the grand line i think that's where i where i'm okay with her being like she's an average fighter within the grand line um but uh but yeah her her weapon's just so cool and i like that she can use her own um intelligence and her own like knowledge of weather and stuff with her weapon and plus now that we have all the dials and stuff Usopp said he might be able to upgrade her weapon which would be awesome um and uh and I love the scene of the um <laughs> of the shepherd the commander dude um 
not commander, but you know, the, the Navy HQ guy, uh, coming in and like fucking up with the weapon and then Nico Robin uses her hands to make him fuck up with the weapon more and like it's pretty much purely like they the the straw hats probably would have had a, a tougher time getting out if that dude didn't come in because he gave them a weapon that they could use against the huge crowd of people you know so like him being there might have actually just fully fucked up uh, the Navy's strategy and and commander jonathan's plans you know so i think that that's really really great because he's the kind of character that you can totally hate he's a very easy character to hate um and the the arc is constantly humbling him which is fun to watch so anyway let's finish off this arc and get into the final episode of g8 this is episode 206 okay no recap Right into the final episode. Here we do. Here we do. <laughs> Here we go. Yabai, 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 yabai. I love the word yabai. <laughs> Something very addictive about it. <laughs> Akainu? Admiral Akainu? Who's, do we know Admiral Akainu? Wait. So there was a king in the middle of like a net. Are they gonna like net them upwards? Is there a net in the water? Because that's how you catch like fish sometimes, right? And so he's a fisherman. If they do pull them up in a net, Zoro might be able to do something. Like all the devil fruit people would be out of commission. Bugged Nami san. <laughs> yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's probably got the best plan here. He does everything to the second. Okay, here we go. Is there something specifically that happens at 9 p.m. every day? Oh my god. Okay, so it's a tide. Okay, so it's not a literal net, it's a it's a natural net. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> we were just saying it. Oh my god. Hey, what if Luffy can do it? I don't know. Oh my god. Well, yeah, we need a ship, right, man? Our poor ship. Huh? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Luffy, you're fine. <laughs> uh huh. Can you? Yeah, when there's no water, you're kind of fucked. <laughs> wow, cool shot. I love that shot. Look how cool that is. I love the way Luffy's shirt like turns into like a cape at times like that. And the chefs, the chefs are sad because Sanji's gonna get killed. Yeah, the ship's in pain. It does kind of feel like checkmate. Like, what do we do? But if he fire cannibals at us, he's gonna hit them back. What's his plan? Oh, that's nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> Too lenient! <laughs> What's he gonna do? Mm -hmm. Float! Mm. You still have the octopus? <laughs> Thought the octopus was long gone. <laughs> 
Oh. What? He has it? <laughs> this is a funny shot. <laughs> oh my god, Luffy, really? What were you doing with it? I'm not kink shaming, but just asking. <laughs> Very nice, Luffy. Has oh my god! Luffy has everything they need. <laughs> why would. Why, <laughs> why not have one of the people who definitely can handle it do it? Do it with Zoro, you know? I guess the impact die isn't like the reject die. It's not gonna have a huge impact on the body, right? So maybe it is better if Usopp does it. <laughs> Feels like he's getting more and more vegetables each each time. Yeah, I mean, you guys don't know how dials work. There's so little meat on that plate. Clever. <laughs> Here we go! What the fuck? Oh my god. Here we go! Impact up! Nice! That would be so crazy to see for all of the Navy base. Like, their ship can fly? Oh, I like the spotlights following the ship up as well. Okay. Okay, yeah, good. Here we go. This is cool. This is a cool solution, man. <laughs> oh, his nose is broken. Why are they making you stop doing so? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is so great. I love this. Off they go. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> First one's a warning shot. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> you fucking moron! Oh, that's brilliant. They probably would have captured them. The inspector fucked it up. I love that. Because it shows Jonathan had a backup plan for even this. So Jonathan was a great villain. He didn't end up getting defeated. He was fucked over by the inspector sent by HQ. That's great. <laughs> oh, it's nice that he's like rewarding his his uh, crew. Oh, was it? <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> Love it, Jessica. Oh. Wow, like, the, it made your base better, so it's mission accomplished? That's a really nice little lesson. That's awesome, man. He's a great commander. <laughs> I've fallen for you, man. And this is kind of cool, because since they're being carried by the octopus again, surely it ties per perfectly back into the manga. Right? Because I assume the manga would have had them flying with an octopus before whatever the next arc is. So that's a really clever way to end the arc. Great job! Overall, I can see why people ask me to watch that filler arc. That was the best filler arc in the show. Like, I'm just thinking back to all the filler so far. I, I have, I, I don't remember any that felt that important to the show that like tied in so nicely to the story that felt like it fit within the universe nicely that gave all of our characters interesting and fun moments 
that the characters seemed to act in character for that it felt like it had like iconic moments to this like i think overall yeah this is a super fun filler arc you know so um so great job overall and thank you guys for letting me know about this arc ahead of time so that i was ready for it and could do reactions to it because it was definitely worth doing reactions to ignore those sounds um I, I also like, I mean, the inspector was clearly like the actual villain of this arc. Like if there's like an antagonist and there's a villain, the antagonist is Jonathan, but the villain is the inspector, right? Um, and I like that they, they had him in the arc because what it does is it gives us someone to hate and root against properly. Um, and it also lets us, I mean, he also like provides humor and stuff, but it also lets us have a moment where the straw hats win and get away jonathan kind of wins in his own way and the inspector is the loser and it's it's really nicely written like that i like that that they get away and the sort of wrap-up moment is saying well we succeeded because um because now our base is better for it you know like we've We've come across some powerful people. We know to to uh, fix up these certain things. And also the Straw Hats themselves, they fixed our medical error. You know, they made our doctor better. They made our, um, our crew more united with each other. They made our kitchens better, like literally gave us recipes and stuff that we can work on. Made everyone in, in the kitchen have a higher standard for their own food. Like they literally the straw hats made our base a better place to work and to live in so it like it works for jonathan and we didn't have jonathan lose like his plan was great he he had an excellent plan that left them with basically nothing to do except they had the, this crazy combination of things that nobody could have predicted that they had and even when they used all of that stuff, Jonathan had one final plan to take them down that probably would have worked if not for the inspector. So, I love it. That was a really great arc overall. They kept mentoring, mentioning Admiral Akainu, and I don't think we know who that is. So, I feel like that is the filler arc putting in some official names to set up for a future arc, which I'm excited about as well. So, anyway... That is episode 206 of One Piece, and that's the end of the G8 arc. Next time we are getting into episode, uh, whatever the next episode is, uh, 207. I almost said 136 because it, because on my um, Crunchyroll, which I have up here, it, it in next episode, it has episode 136. So I don't know what that's about. I think that's the start, the first episode of this arc again. Since we just finished technically the Sky Island saga, I think it just that's just starting it again. So yeah, next episode. Oh, and I think I think next episode is gonna be when the show went to HD, isn't it? Um, One Piece. When did One Piece become HD? From the 207th episode. So next episode. Um, One Piece started airing in high definition. I don't think it's going to change much for me because I've been watching the HD remasters of these older episodes. So, I mean, it probably will look the same. <laughs> but I, I, I said, I think, to my Patreon people in like a little bonus bit where I was talking, um, I think the difference might be the um, HD remaster is a bit more zoomed in because that's how they like sort of resize it. So I think the shots from now on are going to look a little bit more zoomed out than I'm used to. Um, but other than that, everything is probably going to be pretty much the same. But anyway, that is One Piece episode 206. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Support the video if you can. I would love that. Go to my Patreon account in the description below, which has full length and early access. You can get the next bunch of episodes. Like, you know, it'll be like 12 episodes or something um, on my Patreon account right now. So go check that out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.